The late industrialist Chris Kirubi, who succumbed on Monday after a long battle with cancer, has been buried at his Bender farm. In a funeral ceremony attended by hundreds, among them government officials, Kirubi was eulogized as a caring family man, a mentor, and an innovation enthusiast who dedicated his life to the service of the nation. At his farm in Muranga County, family, friends and leaders paid their last respects to the late industrialist Chris Kirubi. Kirubi, who died on Monday after battling cancer for four years, was eulogized by his family as a loving patriarch. My dad taught me the meaning of hard work and independence and to always aim for the stars. He taught me that with great blessings come great responsibilities. As a young adult living in Dubai, I remember often accompanying my dad to his endless meetings, driving him around, and it was during these moments we would bond as father and daughter in our own way. We are so devastated and heartbroken to wake up each morning longing and praying for his infectious energy, courage, and go-get-it attitude. The family also plans to honor Kirubi's contribution to nation building. Dad, Robert and I will honor your legacy. We have agreed that we will set up the Chris Kirubi Foundation that will, <laughs> that will honor the work and the values you were so truly passionate about. The foundation will focus on education and mentorship for the youth, health, technology and agriculture. We have a letter written by the Massachusetts General President to our Ministry of Health stating that they would like to partner with us to do education, to train, to offer solutions on technology because that is what we lack in this country and we have to get the medical care up. Transport Cabinet Secretary James Masharia, who represented President Uhuru Kenyatta at the funeral, eulogized the late businessman as a smart investor. Death is not the end of the legendary Chris Kirubi. He is immortalized through his many achievements, the many millions of lives made better by his business brilliance the billions of shillings added to our economy through his innovative projects. He defended this country. He loved this country. And he provided so much support. In fact, the last uh, project we were working with him on is uh, just a trust. This is where we are trying to work together to get all the youth to be owners of capital as opposed to, you know, just earners of wages. The late Kirubi, who died at the age of 79, just two months before his 80th birthday in August, was the chairman of a number of companies in the East African region, among them the Capital Media Group, the International House Limited, and DHL Worldwide Express. For his prowess in business, the late industrialist was awarded the 2015 Africa CEO of the Year by the Africa CEO Forum based in Geneva. Yeah.